Nittany Lion Roar with Extreme Panda here, and our war this time is against Romania Twisted Heroes. And as you can see, Teleria is still queen, and uh, so I'm going to be taking on more Teleria tanks. However, uh, the scores, um, just like last time, are looking a little more like they used to. She is still tough, um, but we are over 6,000 points, which was a, a rarity, and we still have 17 hits to go. This was a rarity uh, since Teleria has come out, so uh, the nerf is definitely um, causing better scores in war anyway, but she's still really tough, and you know, when you just look through the different attacks, you can still see that she's responsible for a number of single-digit hits across the board. I'm going to take um, my 3-2 team here. You know, I know that the opponent has Finley, and, like, I would try not to take any heroes that buff my whole team, but the problem is, with all the elemental links and everything else, I'd rather just take a really good team and risk getting hit by Finley than, than not. So, um, this is not a great team for going up against Finley. At the same time... If I weaken the team, I might not be able to kill the front three heroes, which is really what's important in actually taking out Finley as well. So I just got to do it. So let's try this. This is going to be a really tough, tough battle because uh, Ursina as well. All right, that looks pretty good. I feel like there's potential here to make this even better. I could go for the two immediate red matches to set off Gravemaker and Grizzul. Um, or I could potentially try to do something that will allow me to go for more. I think let's start with this yellow match just to see yeah that's what I want that gives me more all right so I'm gonna make this match and then I'm gonna make this match That's pretty good. All right, healing 153, taking 259 burn damage. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just kill Teleri this way because I want to be able to ghost some red and purple tiles. Alright, let's work on this left hand side. Man, this is a tough team because I feel like both sides are really threatening. I do feel like this left side is the most threatening though. And I think Ursina is more liable to go off sooner, so let's go after her. As long as I have red and purple at Ghost, I'm not setting off that blue diamond.
Okay, I need to try not to hit Finley for two turns. I used Grizzul so I could safely hit Gravemaker. Okay, I did not want to set the blue diamond off right there, but it's okay because I have Regard. Yeah, it's funny to use Regard right now, but might as well because just gonna set him off again. All right, there it is. Excellent. Okay, moving on. Um, we have Vela teams left. I could take my I could take my red team against I have a remaining red team I like to take but I want to take it against a weaker opponent if I have to who these all have high troops the red team's not great for these yeah I gotta take it against this one There are some things about my Boomer Bust Red team, which has like JF and Guardian Kong, that do help to protect a little bit against um, Vela and company. So I'll give this a shot, but I don't know. It's risky. Definitely risky. Yeah, Anzo does defense against ice, so does Guardian Kong. But let's see, which one do I want to set off first? This gives fire allies plus 46%. Defense against ice. Guardian Kong gives... Guardian Kong's a cleanser too now, which is awesome. Plus 94% defense against ice, and that's all allies. So I want to make sure to set Guardian Kong off after I set off. Anzo to overwrite that. And actually, hmm, the elemental link stacks now that I think about it. So it doesn't matter at all. Actually, that, that makes this team really resistant to blue damage. I mean, they'll still take the water damage, but at least if I can get the red team off first before Vela, they'll be really protected against her. So that's kind of nice. And, and if Wilbur's off too, that's especially true. Okay. I call this the boomer bust team because either it's awesome or embarrassing. <laughs> so we'll see which one this is. Okay, green diamond into a purple match. And actually green diamond into purple diamond. That's nice. Let's do the green diamond first because I think it's going to cause some red matches to, or at least one red match to happen naturally. And then 
I can set off the purple diamond, which will set Regard off to clear Teleria. I'm going to do that. Well, there we go. I got it anyway without having to set off the purple diamond. So I can save the purple diamond now, which is cool. But let me save regard for when I want to start making some red matches. Oops. I naturally cascaded into one. I'm going to go ahead and set regard off now because this is going to make red matches and then I'll have regard again for Vela. All right, let's start with Wilbur, JF, Enzo, Guardian Kong. And that's why it's boom, because when it goes off, it goes off. This was not a bust this time. Boost that attack. All right. Excellent. Okay, next up, I've got green heavy teams for the rest of these Velas. Which one is best? Probably the one with the level 30 troops, wherever that was, up here. All right, so I'm going to take my best green team, which is Teleria, Kingston, Liana, Eve, and guess who? Costume Regard. Okay. Looks like we can make a green diamond. Did it before Teleria went off. Okay. I really want to kill Teleria right now. But I think uh, Gravemaker is a big threat. I should have some time and some ways to bring up green from the bottom there. I think it's best just to go after Gravemaker right now. Let's see if Liana can just kill him. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay. And let's try to get some greens up from the bottom. That's good. And this should kill Teleria and do a significant amount of damage to Vela. And I think I can kill Vela now. I don't think I know I can kill Vela now. There we go. Okay, now I have time to ghost. And I just showed you an important lesson in winning wars or battles in wars uh, that I have certainly made mistakes with in the past, if you watch my videos in the past, 
When I had a chance to kill Gravemaker in the past and I didn't, I almost always regret it. And this time, I killed Gravemaker, uh, and it allowed me the time I needed to take out the front three heroes, so I should be in pretty good shape here. Now I can just ghost for the win. I just have to bide my time. Awesome. Okay. Next, I need to choose the weaker of the two teams for my next green team. Because this team is not quite as good. In fact, maybe I want to do yellow. Because I have white rabbit now. And I took emblems off Elkanen, so my green team's not quite as good. Let's do... Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do, let's do, let's try yellow. I haven't tried this team before. Let's mix it up. Let's make it interesting. I'm going to use June. I'm working on the costume right now, but he's, he's not good enough yet to bring in. Um, because I'm still mainly focusing on putting emblems on White Rabbit. I have no idea if this team is good. I've never even really practiced with this team. I'm trying to figure out where I want the troops. I think I want the level 25 troop on Poseidon, and I want the level 1 crit troop on white rabbit just to make him a little bit tougher because uh the crit troop gets a defense boost there 16 percent as compared to 11 percent on that level one mana troop okay and how much damage does drake do 270 compared to 280 hmm well they both do similar amounts of damage they both have um, similar attack stats, too. So as far as damage goes, um, they're pretty even. So it doesn't matter too much. I think it's right to put the crit troop on White Rabbit, though, because White Rabbit will go off first, give the defense down, and then um, uh, Drake will do more damage with the mana troop. Okay. I've been getting pretty lucky with boards. This is not quite as lucky. I'm trying to see if I can make diamonds somehow. Or get yellows to clump in a spot. I think my best bet is to get purples to clump. Just like that. If Teleria and Gravemaker go off, they can kill Regard. But 
the, oof. I don't like this risk. Maybe I use Brigard right now to make the yellow match on the far right and hope that there's no cascades that happen. And then I can make the yellow match in the middle. This is a terrible, terrible thing with all these heroes about to go off. I'm not confident what to do here. I could also make the red match in the middle just to set Teleri off, clear it, then make some yellow matches. Which might help to clump some yellow things too. Let's do that. Oh my gosh, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even set the other ones off and they still killed Brigard. I'm pissed about that. That's really piss worthy. Ugh. And that killing Brigard just wiped me out. Let's at least kill Teleria for the cleanup. I'm going to have to go back and watch this video. That bothers me. Like... I don't know. That was a crucial moment in the game, and it really feels like I did the wrong thing. But I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay. How many points is this other one? Info. It's 38 points. Could take my green heavy team against that one. Or my blue heavy team. Let's go ahead and clean this with the blue heavy team. Because I don't really get another good chance to clean with the blue heavy team. Um... I'll put Kunshin in, and then Frida, Alice, let's actually put Magni over here, and then I'll do Alice, Elise. Okay. I like the number of blues I see. Let's get them to clump a little bit more. Gosh. <laughs> it's so annoying.
Okay. There we go. Not quite. All right, there it is. Okay. I've got, how many hits do we have left? 12? I'm gonna try to help reset the board. I have a really good purple team left here. Yes, I know, I have my new Demisha, which I, I will use in cleanups from time to time, I think, but unless and until I get emblems on her, I want to use the heroes I have with emblems, like Sartana and Sashat. Let me think about this, though, because, oops, she does the, she does the cleansing thing, which is really nice. 724, 1411. What's Sishat like? Actually, she's she might be better than Sishat. Yeah, there are no real buffs, so I don't really need a shot. I mean, Teleria does does bu a buff, but that's not too concerning to me. The heal over time, I like as long as I have snipers, I can stop stop it. I think we can give this a try. Let me switch the costumes around. Because this will make Quintus basically average and Demisha basically um, fast. Okay. And I just want to check one more thing. And that is what is the shot's attack. 775. Which is pretty close to Demisha. Demisha does 390 damage. So shot is 400. It's pretty close. Okay. Let's see how this goes. All right, I have three purple matches, so that's good. So I'm just going to go straight for it. Perfect. I think the front three here are the most dangerous. Demisha's going to clear the mana slow, which is awesome. Let's clear the green, and then we should have enough purple to go again. All right, that was an awesome team. I feel like this was a, an opponent that had, like, some level 30 troops, too, so... This team did great against a team with level 30 troops. They didn't have all level 30 troops, I don't think. Simplu. But, yeah, they had a couple. Cool. Okay. Well, that's my war. Uh, my goal is always 200 points. And look how awesome my team is doing. I definitely got to 200 points. Um, but I'm not even close to the top of what my team is doing. Good job, Prophet. TJ, Zara, top three. Relish, Sam. All right, good. Let's keep it up. 
Looks like we are definitely marching towards victory here. They only have four hits left. Okay. All right. And good game, Romania Twisted Heroes. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.